Hi, my name is Malik, and I will be doing how uh, I'll be showing you how to do a TV skin test. Uh, first thing I do is I'll gather my required uh, materials. I'm show it to you. My gloves, my my um, syringe, gauze, and alcohol swab, and the file I will be using. Um, next thing I'll do is I will verify the six um, six uh, rights of medication administration, which is right patient, right drug, right route, right time, uh, right dose, and right documentation. And then after that, I will calculate my if the dosage needs to be calculated for this order. I have uh, zero point one milliliter to administer and um, uh, I know uh, the dose of the medication and then I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself to the patient tell hi my name is Mahali uh, are they okay if I come in and yes and then I'll go in and then I'll provide uh, privacy to my patient and I will identify my patient using two uh, patient identifiers I'll ask the name of the patient and I'll have the patient say the name and um, the date of birth and while the patient is saying I'll check the wristband and then I will ask my patient if they have any known allergies can be food medication or any um, seasonal allergies and if not uh, I will uh, if they don't have any allergies I'm gonna go ahead and tell my patient, uh, my purpose that that my purpose of visit, and I'll talk about the tuberculin uh, provide um, the medication I have for them, the TB test, and I'll tell them this uh, skin test is to help diagnose tuberculosis infection uh, in persons that are increased uh, the risk of developing active disease, and the side effects can be bleeding. Uh, at the injection site, uh, blistering, um, crusting, and if we see like a difficult, if we're having a difficult or labored breathing, fainting, fast heartbeat, or like a dark purple bruises, immediately we need to seek a medical uh, attention. And I'll tell my patient if they experience any of this listed above after getting the medication to come and contact us or uh, to let the physician know. And then I'll give a time for my patient to, uh, to ask if, uh, if they have any questions. Do you have any questions? And I'll give them time uh, to ask questions. If they don't have any questions, I'm going to perform hand hygiene and wear my gloves. I'm just going to put it down so you'll be able to see. Okay, so I have my medication here. I mean, my syringe. Let me just fix my camera. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, let my patient know that they might feel... Uh, might feel a little bit of burning and a stinging sensation on the administration uh, uh, the area and then the area that I will be administering uh, I will be uh, before I administer I will be checking for any discoloration or um, if there is like any lesions discoloration uh, noted and I will just go ahead and palpate the tenderness uh, if I see anything abnormal, I will uh, select another site for injection. And then now I'm going to go ahead and clean my file with the alcohol swap I grab. And then trash this one. I'm out of the alcohol swap, so I'm going to reuse it as a new one. And then I'm going to take out my needle. So I'm going to be administering um, 0 0.1 milliliter. So I'm going to 
draw um, a 0 0.8, I mean 0 0.1 air. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, inject it in the vial and let the air come out. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw 0 0.1 because that's what the doctor ordered is 0 0.1. And then after I got my, uh, I make sure there is no like bubbles or anything. So as you can see, I have. Yeah, 0.1. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, go to the below the antibuchal space, and one hand with with the re with the wrist to measure, and then uh, I'm gonna clean. I make sure I clean the area with alcohol swab before my injection, and then I'm gonna have it. Uh, late uh like oh i thought i was using this i'm gonna uh clean it and let air dry it and i'm gonna hold this syringe with a thumb and forefinger on my dominant hand and then i'm gonna go ahead and with this hand i'm gonna go ahead and stretch the skin over the side of the my uh using my forefinger and my thumb let me just put the camera um, so I'm gonna go ahead hold it like this and go ahead and insert it to 5 to 15 um, uh, 5 to 15 degree angle to ensure uh, uh, that resistance is felt and after that I'm now like I'm gonna go ahead and administer uh, the aim is to get that small blob uh, approximately to six to ten centimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and inject. And I'm gonna grab this and discard this in a sharp puncture uh, container for a needle stick to be safe for the safety purpose of needle stick injuries after i, I throw that in i'm just gonna uh we're gonna I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure if you're able to see it but there is a little small bulb and we're going to measure this and it has to be from six milliliter to ten millimeter if it falls under that it means we did it right and it was taken uh, properly and then uh, we discard and then we put the gauze like a not very gentle pad on it and we apply a badge if need i mean uh, we apply bandage if needed and then after that we discard the our uh, needle in the needle container and then uh we do not recap the needle for this I'm gonna take off my gloves. I wash my hands and ask if my patient has any questions. Uh, if my patient has any questions or if they're feeling, uh, if they're feeling good, if they're right on, uh, if they're on the right position in bed, or if they want to sit up or anything, uh, just to make sure that they're comfortable. And then uh, I'm gonna wash my hand. And the last thing I would uh, undo privacy. And the last thing I wanted to do is documentation. I make sure I document how the patient's response was. Was the patient uh, cooperative? Would the patient tolerate the medication? Uh, were are they were grimacing or gardening or guarding uh, while I was giving the medication? I make sure I document everything, um, stating all that. And also, uh, it's always good to go back and check in 15 to 30 minutes to assess how the patient is doing and ask them if they're feeling any of the side effects uh, we mentioned earlier, if they are experiencing that. And that would be it. Thank you.